hello guys welcome to my channel today in this video i'm going to show you how to fix when you are unable to install this update that is kb5062660 on your windows 11 computer now the first step is to pause and restart the update so go to windows update and then click on pause over here and once it is paused this process may take some time and then click on resume updates and then check still not working the next step is to start app readiness service type in services in windows search box go to services and then find app readiness make a double click on app readiness set this to automatic click on apply click on start if highlighted and then click on ok now you can check still not working the next step is to run update troubleshooter now for this open window settings go to system go to troubleshoot option and over here you can see other troubleshooters click on it and then you will see windows update click on run and this will open a new screen now let let it uh, load and once it is loading you will see option to run the update troubleshooter just follow the on screen instruction over here and then you can check for me it never works now the next step is to restart windows update and background intelligent transfer service now for this type in services in windows search box and then click on services find windows update in the list make a double click on windows update set this to automatic click on apply click on start if highlighted then click on ok with this selected make a right click then click on restart and once done now find background intelligent transfer service make a double click set this to automatic click on apply click on start if highlighted now once done make a right click and then click on restart now you can try to update your windows 11 and then you can check still not working the next step is to use windows 11 installation assistant for this copy this link the link is provided in the video description open this link in a browser it will take you to microsoft website here you can see in installation assistant click on download now and then run this exe file click on yes to allow and if there is any update option over here click on update now or install now option in my case it is already up to date next step is to use microsoft update catalog for this open this link in a browser it is provided in the video description and then type in the name of the update that is kb506 kb5062660 so write down the name of the update over here and then click on search over here for me it's uh, let me change the language so for me it's windows 11 version 2 for h2 x64 base system you can check what kind of system you have you can go to system and then scroll down go to about option and over here you can see your system type so for me it's windows 11 version 2 for h2 x64 base system for arm this is the one so click on download and then you will see this um, update over here that is kb5062660 click on it and then once the download is complete you can click on this file and you can update this update manually and then restart your computer you can even install this restart your computer and then check now the next step is to use uh, reset windows update component so if not working uh, you can copy all these command these commands are provided in the video description copy till here and then open note pattern computer paste all the command over here go to file save as you can set the location to desktop name this file as wufix.bat for save as type select all files and then click on save now go to desktop here you can see interview you fix dot bat file make a right click click on run as administrator make sure that you open this file as an administrator click on yes to allow and let it complete uh, this process will take some time first first of all it will stop all the windows update services and then it will uh, run couple of scans there are multiple scans so if you look at the command here you can see there are multiple scans so the, these scans will take some time and if you receive a prompt uh, 
to uh, type in yes to continue just type in y for yes and then, then hit the enter key let the scan complete the scan will take some time and once the scan is complete it will restart all the windows update services and once this is completely done it will auto close or you can simply close it and then you can restart your computer restart your must after this and after the system restart you can update your windows 11. next step is to use fix problems using windows update option now for this you can open windows settings go to windows update go to advanced option over here advanced option and then go to recovery option over here you can see fix problems using windows update this will reinstall your current version of windows your apps files and settings will be preserved so click on reinstall now this process will take some time and once this is done log into the computer and then check now if nothing is working the last step is to use media creation tool it will take you to the same website this website you can open this link and then here you can see media creation tool click on download now and then run this exe file when you run this exe file then click on accept over here and then by default windows 11 will be selected click on next then select iso file over here and click on next you can set the location to desktop and then click on save let the download complete this process will take some time once done click on finish let it close automatically and then then go to desktop make a double click on windows iso file and then you can uh, you can see the setup file make a double click on setup file and then click on yes to allow and then click on next over here and then click on accept over here here you can see ready to install by default the option to keep personal files and app would be checked when this is checked you will not lose any data on the computer so click on install and make sure this is checked keep personal files and apps make sure this is checked and then click on install after the installation um, this process will take some time log into the computer and then check so one of the steps shown in this video should help you to install this update successfully on your windows 11 computer so that'll be all thank you so much for your time and please like this video and subscribe to my channel